This is another one that is brought up routinely every year heading into the college football season, and that is over at 247 Sports. Bud Elliott knocks these out, and he's, of course, on the Cover 3 podcast. Uh, this is the So there's the blue chip ratio, which is the normal one. This is just based on recruiting, and that is, uh, let's see, the teams who have signed more blue chip recruits than now um, over the last four classes. Or than non, excuse me. Uh, more blue chip recruits than non over the last four classes. Alabama is at 89%. Ohio State at 80%. Georgia at 77. Oklahoma 71. A&M at 70. Those are the only ones that are over uh, a 7 to 3 ratio as far as blue chip uh, athletes is concerned. That's four and five stars. You've got some other interesting ones on here. Towards the end of this, you've got Auburn, Miami, Penn State, Michigan, Oregon, etc., right? Notre Dame's in there. Clemson is in there. LSU as well. Texas always seems to be in there. But the thing that really got me is this time we started discussing the uh, blue chip ratio with transfers. And the only school out of all of these that actually added a percentage point, like it had anything in the green, is Alabama. And with the transfers that they brought in, including the ones that they left, they are now at 90% if you include transfers. Uh, Ohio State drops from 80% down to 78%. Uh, Oklahoma drops from 71% down to 65 And, of course, everybody saw what happened with Lincoln Riley. He took a bunch of guys with him. A lot of guys left Oklahoma and went elsewhere. Uh, Texas lost some guys that... And now, this is, of course, based on recruiting rankings, not based on what they were re-ranked as re- uh, transfers. So, Texas bringing in Isaiah Nair... Uh, probably didn't help a whole lot. Guys like uh, Jacob Cowing that went from UTEP to Arizona. Cowing has kind of proven that he's a five-star wide receiver. I mean, he is absolutely incredible, and yet he is not ranked as that as of right now, at least not with these blue-chip ratio, because it's it's based on initial recruiting rankings. So this is definitely interesting to look at. The only one that was on the list initially that would drop off based on transfers is Miami, dropping from 55% down to 49%. But the blue chip ratio basically shows the teams that are capable of winning a national title. And yes, with the playoff, it has gotten significantly more difficult because now instead of just getting to a BCS title game and having to win that one game, you have to win two games against incredibly talented opposition. So it's what made it so difficult for a team like Cincinnati last year. Yes, there were only two wins away from the national championship, but everybody saw that Alabama game. I mean, they got walloped by a team that couldn't run the ball against any SEC defenses. So it's it's kind of difficult to look at, um, but it does give you an idea heading into the season of who you should be paying attention to, of course. So, uh, Bud Elliott does a great job with that every single year. 247 Sports, just on top of the recruiting game. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.